All right, what is going on, my stock market bulls and bears? It is your boy, Terry Stonkers. In today's video, I want to bring you something a little different. Uh, we're going to talk about the possible recession slash inflation and my feelings on this. Um, so before we get into that, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have the bell notifications on and consider joining the channel membership. Uh, we got the bronze, silver, and gold. You get the loyalty badges along with the... Uh, custom emojis down here you can use for live premieres live streams and as we grow that we're going to be able to do more private live streams and be able to answer questions and things like that so hope you're all ready for today's video if you are smash thumbs up leave a comment down below it helps out the algorithm so baby let's go all right so i want to kind of compare we're going to talk about a little bit about meet kevin and financial education jeremy so on the one hand, you got Kevin here saying that basically if you look through a lot of his recent videos, um, he's sold out of all his stocks. He's in fear that we're going to hit a uh, even newer low here in the recent markets. And he is basically going all cash right now and he's trying to time the market. Uh, as you can see here in his thumbnails and his titles, uh, he believes that we're going to be hitting a recession, maybe come here in the next couple of months uh, leading into spring. And it's kind of crazy. So he's going over all his points. We've got to take give him credit for what he truly believes it's his portfolio he can do what he wants so props to him for being a straight up guy and being honest with what he's doing uh very transparent maybe a little too transparent uh and it's giving him a lot of slack but got to respect him it's his decision that's like i say uh we can talk about what stocks we like but it's ultimately your decision to buy or sell or hold that stock um so yeah kevin thinks we're going to be hitting a recession uh all these war things uh he is into every little data that comes out from the fed uh, he is on every bit of it. Then you got someone here like Jeremy. Uh, he is a long-term investor. He he basically says, I buy if I believe in the underlying fundamentals of the company, I'm going to buy that stock and I'm going to hold it the next three, five, 10 years. That's what he does. He doesn't care about what the Fed does. He don't care about that. He's not trying to time the market. That's not exactly what he does. Um, so two different perspectives here and I respect both of their perspectives. Uh, they're both you, you can say it's your portfolio, you can do what you want. And then you got this out here saying that the U.S. inflation data hike is like a punch in the gut. So you got these articles coming out as well. Um, if you watch kind of CNBC, a lot of their news, there really isn't anyone bullish at all about this market right now. And you can see kind of a couple of the key points here. Uh, the latest January inflation data uh, came in like a punch in the stomach for the Federal Reserve, said global cheap economics. Uh, City Research Nathan Sheets adding the means the next rate hike could be as aggressive as 50 basis point, which is half percent. Uh, the U.S. Consumer Price Index surged 7.5 percent year over year, according to the Labor Department. Both headlines and core CPI data rose 0.6 percent compared to 0.4 increase uh, by both measures. All right, so what I'm going to do is kind of go over my perspective on this, and like I said, this is just my opinion from what I'm seeing out there in the real world. Uh, we always, I think, kind of agree that the Fed maybe is always a little behind. Uh, they're looking at like the last quarter numbers, the last month's numbers, and things like that. So as we talk about this here, we're going to just go over what I'm seeing out in the real world. Uh, I know Kevin is all about uh, reading the reports from the Fed and digging into what they're saying. And Jeremy has always preached, how about going out into the real world and seeing consumer spending firsthand? And what are we seeing out there in the real world, uh, you know, by the average, uh, let's say, consumer? Uh, so I'm just going to go over a little bit of my day yesterday, and we're going to go over what I see in the real world. So yesterday, I um, had a day out with my wife and mother, and we're going to start out the day with we took a trip and we went and had lunch. So we went and had lunch at Chick-fil-A. And what did I see at Chick-fil-A? The place is booming. Uh, it the drive throughs wrapped around the building. The lobby's packed, people just kept coming in, coming in, and the drive up just never stopped all day. So that's good. Uh, restaurants are busy. Uh, like I said, all around that area where I was at, just nonstop people. So had lunch at Chick-fil-A, great experience. Uh, a lot of workers there, so that's good. They wasn't short-staffed or anything. A lot of people was worried about uh, places being short-staffed, so that's a good check mark. Um, now that is just one restaurant. Chick-fil-A is always at top of the line at you know the customer service and be able to get people in and out and things like that. But uh, like I said, uh, the economy was looking good at Chick-fil-A. I can at least say that. And the next one's going to be very interesting. Uh, so we took a trip to the casino. 
Uh, so the casino, what's that going to be like? Because that's saying you really have uh, throwaway money to go to the casino. Uh, we've got the Super Bowl today and things like that. So go to the casino. Got there around, I want to say it was around 12 o'clock or something like that, right around lunchtime uh, on a Saturday. And I'll tell you what, it was very steady at 12 o'clock. Uh, getting there around noon. Now, the table games, they usually have limits on table games. I'm going to talk about that because for the casino I'm at, it's not, it's not a really big, uh, I mean, it's technically part of Penn National Gaming. It's Hollywood Casino. Uh, so it is one of their branded casinos. And their minimum bet for like roulette was $15. Minimum bet for blackjack was $25. So uh, there was no low bets at any of the tables. And that was at noon, guys. I'm talking noon. Minimum bet, $15 roulette. $25 on uh, blackjack as the day went on. Uh, you could not get to a roulette table at 20, $25 was the minimum. They they took away the $15 minimums and they upped them all to $25. Um, I didn't really look at like the other poker games and things like that, that they had table games. I just mainly focus on blackjack and roulette because that's two games that I prefer to play. And so let's talk about the slots. Was there a lot of people there playing the slots? Yes, there was. Uh, the slots were very busy. Uh, as each half hour went by, you could see the casino getting more filled, getting more busy. Uh, they had the new brand new bar stool sports book there. People coming in betting like crazy for the Super Bowl today. So I'm seeing with my eyes at the casino, uh, I was there roughly about five, six hours. Uh, I see the place just hopping from noon, every half hour up. I see the casino getting busier, 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 and busier. So do I think that we are possibly going to be in some kind of recession come uh, spring or summer. From my experiences, no. I just I just don't see. Not saying we can't have. This is just my opinion. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I believe if we go and talk about what Jeremy says, he lives in Vegas and he has seen the casinos out there are busy as well. Uh, and so yeah, I mean I'm just going over personal experiences. I just don't think a recession is going to happen. Uh, so I kind of like with. Uh, like I said, it's your portfolio. You got to decide what you're going to do. Uh, right now, I am keeping about 50-50. I'm trying to keep about 50% cash and 50% in stocks that I believe in for the long term. Uh, so what I've been doing is actually selling options in this market. Uh, so if I own stocks and you kind of believe the market is bearish, so it's kind of good to sell covered calls because then if the market keeps going down, you collect that premium and you don't have to sell your stocks. You just make that $30, $50 a week and boom, you collect that premium. And if it's a stock you really love and it's getting beat down, then you could sell a uh, cash secured put and you're getting premium to uh, sell that option, to buy that stock at a lower price. And if you get assigned it, you buy it. Uh, I recently did this with SoFi, AMC, and uh, ChargePoint. So those are a couple stocks that I've been doing options with because if I get assigned those stocks, I'm perfectly fine with it. So. That's just me going down a quick little rundown here of recession slash inflation. Now, the inflation is real. Prices are going up. Even the casino, man, keeping their limits. I remember I used to be able to go down to that same casino and used to be able to get $10 roulette. Uh, you couldn't even bet singles, like dollar chips. Like You couldn't even bet 15 singles in the inside. You could only bet $5 chips. So if you're trying to play like 15 numbers or 10 numbers, you couldn't do it with dollar units. You had to do all $5 units. So... Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of crazy. You used to be able to go down there and get a $10 roulette table and you couldn't even play, uh, used to be able to play singles and now you couldn't even play singles. So, uh, and as I was saying, as the day went on down there, it was hitting close to four five and six o'clock. Um, the slots were busy. You couldn't even get into any of the slots at the casino. So, uh, like I'm saying, I think that the, uh, overall market, like I said, to see that many people in there, uh, and a lot of people at the sports book betting too. So, I don't know. Like I said, just my opinion. I don't think we're going to have a recession. I believe uh, as time goes on here in the next month or two, we're going to see the market recover. Uh, like I said, that don't mean it can happen. Guys, the market could always come back down and go lower. Uh, the Russia stuff, I'm not really too worried about that uh, unless it's going to affect more of the U.S. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. But uh, like I said, just running through my thoughts of the stock market. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a recession. Like I said, just my opinion could be totally wrong. Uh, but leave a comment down below. What do you think? And if you like these style videos, um, I'll keep them up for you because uh, I like this kind of stuff. Something a little different. So uh, I'll catch you all next video, guys. Peace.